and welcome to my second little video review about Linux. This time I will make the GeOS. I think everybody know and if you don't know it's a new kind of Ubuntu derivative and it's mm, kind of green. I will show you later. Thanks to the new Ubuntu Intrepid Ibex we have some little tool. Yeah, it's a German system but it's called create a USB startup disk. Sound not very nifty, but it's a very great tool if you own an EPC. Oh, I have to pay the password here, but in fact it does uh, make an ISO image directly copy into a bootable um, USB. I can show you. I power it up and I installed the, I mean I copied the GeOS already on it, so take a bit time to boot. So this time I can wait, I can wait and I can tell you a bit about it. Um, the GeOS is, um, how can I say, it's about, the, about internet. Internet use and some people don't like that it has many Google application and links to Google, MySpace, YouTube and so on and so on. But the most people use it, the most younger people use it and for this it's it's quite... Uh, if you are very... if you are often online with your EPC it's a good choice. If you have a Google account it's a better choice. If you hang around MySpace, YouTube it's a very good choice to use this. And it's one of the rare operating systems, Linux operating systems, that come pre-installed with Wine. Um, I don't know why, but um, it's very rare. So we wait until it boot up. I installed it already, so I will not show the install. The install is quite Ubuntu-ish, so very easy. Enter time zone, partition disks and so on and so on, wait a bit and then it's installed. So, yeah. In the meantime I can tell you a bit about this little fella. Everybody thinks Asus made the first UMPC. Ha ha ha! Atari made it in fact. This uh, is the Atari portfolio. It's still working. Unfortunately I don't have batteries right now. Has even a memory card with ginormous 120 kilobyte and in fact this is the first EPC okay first you uh, first netbook I, I will not say netbook uh, UMPC I can say Good. Um, because I don't know it takes a pretty long time to load so I enjoy my cigarette and you enjoy waiting and loading and wasting bandwidth. The provider would thank you for it. If you have a flat rate, he will not thank you, he will cry. And yeah, it's still working, still busy. Oh, okay, now something happened. Yes. The hardware configuration seems to be over. Now the system is starting. It starts pretty slow. It's like a live CD and the USB stick I have is not the youngest. It's a bit slow. So if you have a new wheel core there or something, you can expect a faster boot time. Okay, it's starting up, screen flickers, and there we have the mouse. After the mouse comes, there should come more. Yes, there's a sound. It's kind of annoying if you hear it often, so consider to turn it off. Okay, that was it. Like I say, with the new Ubuntu, um, it's very, very, very easy to um, copy the um, 
you don't have to use external CD, DVD device to install systems on the E with the Ubuntu thing. It's working very, very smoothly. Everything. I tried about four other distros and I never got real problems. I have also to say that this was all um, related to Ubuntu, so based on Ubuntu, so maybe it don't work quite well with other like Zuse or something. So we see here like Geos has very much little gadgets, these are the Google gadgets and has even Picasa and we see that Wine is running quite well on it. So I think uh, here's the install button for installation. So I think this part I can jump because I think you want to see the installed system and how fast it boots. Okay, shut down. We start? Yeah, we start. Yeah, close. Uh, yeah, it's. I have also to say it's a young distro, so it's a bit buggy sometimes. But everything has its price. Okay, there we have it again. Now we can see how fast it will boot. Let's set the timer. It's starting. Very good. That are 15 seconds. And I'm in fact, out to say something, so if I would not be uh, this is one take, so I will not make music on it, I will directly upload it to YouTube. So don't expect that I make music on until we wait. I will not. Anyway, when you see this, you, you know that I didn't make it in any way. So I hope nobody calls me now. Now I have to enter the username and the password. I will have to wait a little bit. Okay. Now it should start up. Like I said, it's much faster, but it takes from push the button to lock in about, about a minute. So it's not so fast boot up, but it's started in the right resolution. Everything is looks like a normal desktop, even on this small screen. It's very amazing. Everything looks really, really good. So they really um, make a lot of effort in that it once looks quite well on the EPC, what I like very much. What's the reason why I make this video, in fact. So. There is not so much to say, they are very much, like you see here, there is some little, little bar like Apple, maybe Google News, Google Products, Google Finance, Blogger, YouTube, Pitkin, Skype, OpenOffice and so on. Yeah, here we can see Wine and yeah, that was it in fact, there is not much more to tell. Yeah, Picasa is here too and yeah, like I say, it's it's a very nice thing if you have USB and time you can check it out. I think for me it's uh, way better than the Xandros E system and maybe you like it too. Okay, bye bye and this time nobody calls me and I'm quite happy about it. Bye bye.